Jets' initial reaction, Sully. Let me lay out the trade first before I give you three compelling reasons why I want to be a buyer of crude oil. But I want to be a buyer here in the October contract, Sully, 42.75. I have a target going up to $45, but I'm being mindful folks. I'm risking $1,250 to make $2,250, but I'm putting that stop just a buck and a quarter lower at $41.50. But let me talk about the three reasons why I see crude oil is going higher keeping the trajectory to $45. Certainly it's the US dollar, that weakness. Despite the fact that it's back above 93, the US dollar is weak, attracting assets to commodities. Secondly, we're seeing- So I'm gonna agree with him right here. Um, I am going to start to look at oil as a good investment. Um, I'm not gonna buy commodities. I am interested in the companies and that's why we're gonna change scene over here. So I know that I've been uh, covering only crypto, but I'm going to try to do all assets, so stock, real estate, bonds. But anyways, I really like ExxonMobil, and um, well, let's just do ExxonMobil, so ExxonMobil stock. I mean, just the dividend is pretty attractive here. Um, not going to lie to you guys. Here, let me move that out. Uh, so if you look at the dividend yield, let me see where can I get that. It's 8.6% at this price. And I know it got kicked off. Uh, I like buying assets when they're down. And uh, I wouldn't just necessarily only invest in ExxonMobil. I mean, there's other uh, players out there, Shell. Um, but just look at the oil stocks in general, um, maybe the next year or two, because they've been just totally destroyed. And I do feel like there's gonna be a rebound. And you can also get a nice dividend out of this trade. Um, but let's go ahead and let the guy continue on why he uh, likes oil. See the technicals in tap. And lastly, you hit the nail on the head. The production cut. We talked so much about demand. We have to talk about supply at some point. So I think in the wake of Hurricane Laura, is it going to be more damage to some of the platforms down there? Potentially, but also OPEC Plus. Don't forget OPEC Plus talked about they're going to be more compliant, at least they're going to try to be more compliant about this production curve. So I think for the first time in a long time, Sully, at least since March, we are going to see supply coming to the equation, and that's why crude oil is going higher. Okay. So I'm going to agree with him, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this, but um, when it comes to crypto, let's go back to the crypto. I'm only buying Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's the only two crypto assets for now. I feel like it's even worth it. But for me, cryptocurrency should be less than 10% of your portfolio. Even though I do feel like Bitcoin will eventually hit 200,000, I am very long. I just believe in diversification. So if you're gonna own Bitcoin, you should obviously own some stocks and you should definitely look into gold, silver, and palladium. But let me know your thoughts on this. And I'm going to start to try to create more content, guys. I know I've been MIA for almost two years, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you guys soon.